Hello everyone, Mufsa to welcome you to the 77th episode of Starfield. In the last episode we joined a gang in Neon called Epside Strikers and we were doing one of their missions where we are supposed to do the Neon Science, override science. So. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? Funny stuff. <laughs> Can't really remember it. This is the third one. Let's do that. So we have done uh, with the uh, three sides. Uh, in the last episode, we did not have much time. That is why we left it over there. Let's go there and talk to Briggs. <laughs> so, uh, I got uh, Andrew's eyes balls. Some would say this place represents all the worst impulses of humanity. Strikers are. Briggs? <laughs> You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Yeah. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. Nope. But it's do or die. Oh, yeah? What's that? Time. I'll do what it takes to win. Like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? Okay. Let us be honest. Security has never needed a reason, so why would they start now? We do what needs to be done. Good question. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. Sure. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mil-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. I'll see what I can do. All the strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the strikers to make a comeback. Okay, so. Pull up a jam. I'll have to speak to Vogel Fuchs. Fully stocked and ready to sell. Uh, I'd like to buy some armor for the Epside Strikers. Oh, dear Lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? Yeah. All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. Mm. I am having a feeling I'll have to... Uh, persuade him, so... Thanks for stopping by our shop. Let me... Let me, let me, let me take a Hippolyta. And... If you have a moment, say hello to my wife. Oh, dear Lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. I'll pay for it all in cash right now. Really? That's a lot of credits. Hmm. All right, already. All right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. Really? Oh. Let's pass it. Offer 5,000 credits. Given the circumstances, any chance of discount? That's not a discount. 
That's robbery. How come? I'm sure you can work something out. I hear you. Let's do manipulation. What I'm asking for is completely reasonable. You're starting to make a lot of sense. Thank you. Fine, fine. You can have your discount if you just stop your yapping. I'll get the armor over to Madame Savage. We're done. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. Oh. That was a good one. Uh, I don't okay, know. I, I hope to God to helping ask, the strikers. What's the story come back with you and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbas Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Oh, so sweet. Is all of Neon Security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Tell everyone you know about our store. Today. I hear you, brother. A few days hey back, there, we had the same situation in our country, but now everything is improving because we have uprooted the head of the corruption. So please pray for us that we start to build a new nation. Every smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. We hope to we hope to build a new nation with no corruption. Hey there. As much as less as possible. So I've been dreaming of this. Yeah. The disciples Google. are gonna pay for all they've done. <laughs> Finally, Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. Yep. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. Sure, no problem. Sounds like you and Briggs have history. Yeah, you better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Xenofresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Xenofresh, being the class act they are, they fired him and later even sued him. For what? So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. The disciples deserve it. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos. Right? Absolutely. Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. That's a good plan. Well, Briggs ain't the only one thinking round here. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. Sure. I hope you aren't here to cause any. No, madam. We are not gonna cause any problem. At least not in Madame Sauvage's place. Madame Sauvage's place. The Astral Lounge got you down. Got a problem? Nope. The problem will we'll start pretty soon, but. Right, anyway. Where is it taking me?
where I came, right? nearby I believe Babe where are you? Come on. Just take them out. Come on. Oof. I do not understand how right anyone way. can tolerate the lights and the music for long. Light and music are fun. Leave me be, please! One down, two to go. I'm watching you. Yeah. Keep on watching me. Hey, is someone sneaking around? You're fine, huh? Someone or something will clean up whatever is left behind. Do you really think that? Do you really believe that? It's my job to clean no, them up. No, no, no! Special. Just the uh
You, sir, you should get out of here. <laughs> we got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. <laughs> yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? No problem at all. It was a piece of cake. Yeah, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. And then no worries. Yep. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Go in guns blazing? We hold back? We'll ask them together. They won't know what hit them. You heard the plan. Let's do it. Oh, the whole place smells of fish. Come on. You would think that would keep people away. They're not letting me get inside. <laughs> Now you'll see why people fear Gotta us. make an example out of it. Get behind the thing! Time is over. Downstairs, now. Security. I'd recognize that condescending tone anywhere. Hands off weapons. Damn it. Let me check out the top part. I'll talk to you later. Nothing. Okay. So we are down over here. Couldn't find anything. Who is this? Owen Dexter. I heard the name. You think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence, a bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? I was doing your job. You're welcome. You wouldn't know the first thing about my job. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the Disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Whoa! Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. You'd hurt them after all they've done? The best way to fight gang violence is getting your own pet gang. Trust me, they'll fit right in on the force. Okay, so I'm free to go. Free to go as far away from here as you like. The further the better in my book. That's a generous, surprising offer. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. 
Jake's. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a, a cop. Yeah. Shit. We could get a real pad. Maybe even move out of Epside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? It's a chance to get out of Ebside. Take it. Huh. It's almost too much to hope for. Despite whatever loyalty you may feel to this place, you might never get another chance like this. Exactly. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, no, we'll be forever grateful. So long then. Same to you. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut. Oh. We have got a rare item as well. Okay. Hmm. Sure, thank you. So, babe, we gotta get out of here. But, uh, was our exit? But no, we are not gonna get out of uh, Neon though, because we are gonna do a few more uh, things over here, like loose ends. That's something we are gonna do. Let's speak to Nashar in jail. Be careful if you run into those We offer full range of cosmetic Before moving to the end of the uh, I suggest you refrain from interfering with neon security matters. Sure. End of the uh, all the missions uh, of the main game. I'm gonna finish the other missions as well. No, no, no! Hey, wait! You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. What are you in for? Did you do it? Am I guilty? No. I mean, yes, yeah, I'm hypothetically involved in Aurora smuggling. But who isn't, right? What's going on here is about more than some bullshit charges. I'll hear you out. Thank you. Oh, God. I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds. And if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Uh-huh. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not-so-legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded. He'll take care of you. Who's this Yannick character? Oh, man. You must still got space dust between your ears. Yannick Legrand's got the best booze and refreshments outside of the Astral Lounge. And unlike Astral, it's priced for real people, not just corporate heels. And he's the maker of blends, so he's the man. In a kind of punch your face sort of way. Why do you think I, you can trust me? I, uh, don't. But you are my last and really only chance. So tell me what to do. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crate's on block 02 in Ebside. 
My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. Sure. Let's do this. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's me. I want to do these missions because I want to go 100% of the game. That's it. Nothing else. Oh. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. Okay. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. People actually live in these things? That they do. It's the families that really get me. And when those families can no longer even afford a sleep crate, well, that's just my favorite part of the job. Can you tell me about sleep crates? If you're struggling, sleep crates are the budget accommodation choice of Neon. It's tight, it's got a smell that's an acquired taste. If you're in the market for a sleep crate, they sadly sell themselves because they're very, very cheap. I need access to Nesher Osmani's sleep crate. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. Is that meant to be a compliment? More of an observation. Not much to do around here, except to clean up after people that have partied too hard and drink. Don't get much of a chance to talk to the respectable type. The code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. I got it, I got it. And... Authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. What's this about Bailamos? A brilliant piece of art. It celebrates when the colonists first broke ground on Polvo. The vids make it look stunning. All done in charcoal from the embers of their first fire. Well, so the story goes. <laughs> nice to be able to use my art history degree for once. Pro tip, when your parents say there ain't no use for a degree, they aren't lying. Wasn't the original Bailamos destroyed? Even the reprints are worth a fortune. In art school, I heard a rumor that Raphael's son sold Bailamos to some UC magnate. The fire was a cover-up. Imagining a piece of free star history in some Deimos Corporation boardroom? Wars have started for less. Man, it's nice to talk about something real. You've made my day. Thanks for the help. Uh, you're welcome. That's what you say back, right? Right. Package. I'm thinking room. about joining up with security. I think that job would suit me well. Maybe. Why don't you... F come on. Why don't you find it out yourself, man? No direct path. They were saying no direct path seen. Jumping in from where? Paradiso. What's up? 
Ah, it's time we customer, bring some feel free to spend your cheaper. credits. Or Think get you the hell out. regrets disappearing on you all those years. Yeah, you need something? If you're here for Blen, I just had a new batch come in last night. Never heard of Blen. What is it? The new gotta be new in Neon, because it's only the most popular drink in the city. You should try one. I guarantee that once you taste it, you'll be hooked. What exactly do you sell here? Did you even bother to look at the shop's name before you stumbled in here? Legrands? Liquors? No? Okay, let me help you out then. So I'm Legrand, that's me, and I sell liquor. You know, the stuff that gets you drunk? Ah, here I thought the name would explain it all. Nope, I'm not here for that. Huh? Okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. Because as soon as word gets out, blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Why is blend so popular? Probably because you can't buy it anywhere else except at my shop. And I mean anywhere. As in, the entire settled systems. It's got a special blend of secret ingredients that you can only find in Neon. If it's that addictive and we are in Neon, order must to be involved. All right, genius, you guessed the main ingredient, but you don't need to be yapping about it in public, you know? <laughs> For your information, the distribution of Aurora anywhere except the Astro Lounge is illegal. Off the books, that shit flows like water around the city. How's business? What are you, the nosy type? Why do you care? But if you must know, business is good. It's always good. Blend is a local phenomenon. It gets people in the door. So are you going to buy any, or are you just going to talk my ear off? I'm going to talk your ear off. Have you ever thought of selling Blend outside of Neon? No. Are you crazy? I've got a captive audience here. Business is booming. Blend is part of the Neon charm. It's iconic. Not to mention that Blend's mix of special ingredients can only be found here. Nasha sent me to talk to you. Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasha. I see the family resemblance. <laughs> You're practically twins. Yeah? I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Is this how you treat someone trying to help you out? Well, Nesha wouldn't work with it. Huh, unless he had no choice. What is this about? He told me to deliver this and to tell you he's loyal. Oh, really? Huh, fascinating. So Nesha came through. Eh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the creds. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. Let's do the negotiation. Nasha said you were generous to your friends. I'm not feeling friendly yet. Ah, you are right. Best not to skimp, yes? Let everyone know how Yannick treats those who do well by him. You look like talent, serious talent, and no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's blend. 
It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. You're offering me a job, just like that? You deliver the package for our good friend Neshar, you get things done, and I just got a feeling about you. Plus, need to act fast before everything goes to hell. I have heard that. What is Blend? Let's ask again. What is Blend? Oh, it is Yannick's claim to fame. Yes, the Astro Lounge has Aurora, but the lounge is for the fat cats in their fancy suits. Blend is meant for the crate rats and night fishers, for the unwashed. It is hard alcohol with a twist. The twist is Aurora, okay. Everyone suspects, then they are right. As long as the pay stays good, I'm interested. Excellent. Yes. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astro Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, it's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. What do you know about Benjamin Bayou? This man thinks he owns Neon, the only player on the board. But he is too good to look in the gutters where the real people live. So Yannick can carve out his own kingdom and screw Bayou. <laughs> You're talking about Benjamin Bayou. This plan is suicidal. No one crosses him. Yet Yannick does cross him, and he is none the wiser. Ha! <laughs> Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes, but he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sandler takes a vacation, permanent, off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him, and you become very valuable to Yannick. What's Felix's story? Ah, uh, Felix. Felix is a mess. Samples too much of his own wares, understand? He's been getting worse, and a danger to the whole operation. Best if he just goes away. Consider Felix taken care of? This is the start of something beautiful! <laughs> Perhaps this can be handled delicately, without bloodshed. Yeah. I suppose we should see. Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Hmm. Yeah. We have no it 
You thought you could win? You cannot beat me! Come on, kill this scumbag! What do we have here? Felix? You were awesome! Did you see yourself? Those Seoka Syndicate freaks had no chance! Yep. Yannick came through! That asshole rescued his boy! Tell him I won't forget, we are tight! Why was the Syndicate gunning for you? Like I have any goddamn idea! But they'll regret messing with Yannick, yeah? Actually, about Yannick, he wants you to leave Neon forever. Wait, what? Off-world? Just pack up and go? No, 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 that, that can't be right. I mean, Yannick screwed without me. We had big plans, big! Tell you what, screw Yannick. I hope the Syndicate string him up and execute the bastard. And screw you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You understand I'm saving your life? Oh, I feel so honored to know you and how you're saving me for my own damn life. Just go so I don't have to kill you. You expect me to just... I mean, after what you did to all the... All right! Sheesh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Tell Yannick I'll miss him. Or maybe not. Maybe not. We'll stick to maybe not. So that's that. We have dealt with the guy. Nothing else. We are not finding anything. Come on, you better move. I'm and he's gone. Just another lousy day in the am I right? Yep. You deal with Felix yet? I'm sure it was a great pleasure. How did you wind up some with someone like Felix? Not happily. Not many options. He does not hold up a candle to you. Any idea why Syndicate was at the warehouse? Shit. No, I do not. But I will find out. Consider him out of the picture. You get results. Like me. <laughs> well, hopefully not too much like me, right? <laughs> so, now, new business plan. Where I am the boss and you are my capable and well-rewarded underling, yes? Yannick's blend is running low. Soon there will be angry customer, and that's bad for business. What we need is Aurora, and there's only one place to get that. Xenofresh Fisheries. 
Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend, who supplied the Aurora. Why didn't Nasher tell you who his contact was? I said he wanted to protect them, that it was safer if no one knew. No matter how I pressed him, he'd clam up. Very frustrating. Nesha sounds like he was doing a good job. Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. So, it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get a job at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley Chernyshevsky. Chernyshevsky. Ah, nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> Riley so Chernyshevsky. So you apply there to work in production. Oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? Simple recipe. They expect applicants to know basic chemistry. Who are Sam? Amp is steroid. Very strong, very powerful. Legal for the moment. Nishar said one of the interview questions is about this. Will those credentials hold up? Of course they will. Only the best for my junior, very junior partner. Actually associate, more like an associate, yes, that's better. I think I can get hired without knowing about him. <laughs> you can try, but I have a research station. Use it. Learn it. Then you are good. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a good impression. Nishar's contact should be looking for someone like you. So find them. Then we line up more Aurora and profits will flow. Sure. So where is that? Hey there. Research lab. Let me I do something. It. Skills. We can have one in over here. Chemistry. This one I need, I believe. Botany, geology. We'll get to them slowly. Okay. I'll have to create ten camps. Let's you man, that. land is the best. Come on, your secret's safe with me. What are the secret ingredients, huh? <laughs> this is well, how you I make amps. It, but there's no way I'm telling you how it's made. It's not much of a secret if I go around telling. Oh, come on. It's not that big of a deal, right? Just tell me. But don't push your luck. The ingredients will stay a goddamn secret. Now leave me alone. I did make Can't blame you. Best drink in the settled systems. No, not today. It's picking up some beers. Oh. Well, suit yourself. Your loss. Okay. We are done making apps. You didn't hear this one. Those ecliptic mercenaries, the factions use them sometimes. Free Star Collective and UC both. It's why they give them a wide berth. Ask me, those murdering assholes should be blasted into space dust. Sure. I'm getting too encumbered. 
maybe it's time for me to lose some things. Okay. Xenofresh Corporate Headquarter. Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. I heard you the first time. What's it like to work for Xenofresh? Xenofresh is the best place to work in Neon, hands down. The pay is good, the hours are respectable, and the company's profits are skyrocketing. We're fortunate that Administrator Bayou dedicates his time and brilliance to see our company excel. Is it true Xenofresh manufactures Aurora? The Free Star Collective has given Xenofresh Fisheries the sole right to fish chasm bass and use it to produce Aurora. If you care to sample some yourself, we have it for sale at the famous Astral Lounge. Although Aurora is our flagship product, we also produce a line of delicious seafood products as well. I'd like to apply for a job. You've come to the right place. Xenofresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family. The application kiosk is over there, but feel free to ask me any questions. It was nice talking with... Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Yeah, yeah. How do you the first and second time? Do you have any work for a chemist? Job candidates with background in chemistry are highly sought after here. I highly advise you to look at the application kiosk. Thank you for visiting Xenofresh Fisheries. Okay, let... I think I got them. Let me read this one. Why work at Xenofresh? Xenofresh Fisheries is the oldest and one of the most profitable corporations in Onion. That's why the Xenofresh team is committed to excellence. We pay complete, competitively and have career paths to suit every employee. So join us and join the future. Vacancy Production Line Chemist Xenofresh Fisheries is looking for a talented chemist who can help produce addictive additives for our patented cam chasmbas gourmet fillets and other products this is an entry level job with flexible hours you we can work with your schedule schedule able to work in independently with a high degree of accuracy bs in chemistry or biology or similar work experience willing to be a loyal team member protecting Xenofresh's remarkable array of trade secrets and processes. At least two references. Please scan identification to begin application process. What would you list as your greatest strength, Riley Chernyshevsky? My greatest strength is the lack of any weaknesses. <laughs> what is the highest level of education you have received? Doctorate degree. Create a rough diagram of chemical structure of M. Thank you for your interest in Xenofresh Fisheries. Submit your application, then talk to the receptionist for the next steps in your exciting adventure. What do you call them? Corns? Riley? Yeah. Oh, God. Is that Cherny Sheetsky? <laughs> Cherry? I'm so sorry. Miss Gurov would like to interview for the position. She's in the underbelly on the factory floor. She'll be expecting you. An interview already? Candidates like yourself are often fast-tracked through the application process. You guys seem pretty desperate. I have no response to that. Have a nice day. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Where's my babe? Babe, come. Let's go. Have you tried one of our advanced television? I'm not sure if those are Can you believe Zeno 
first charges us a licensing fee? Okay, but uh, look at the time, we don't have much. So, let's end it over here. So that's for it uh, in this episode. Be if you're not a you sub, those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. Excuse me, I'm talking over here. All the abandoned facilities as outposts. You know, the ones left over from the colony war. Sure. If you're not a sub, please consider subscribing because that is my film. And while you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you like the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and if you did not well you can press the thumbs down button but I'll highly urge you not to do that I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we continue our journey with Xenofresh fisheries till then stay safe take care and bye bye Wolves signing off